My name is Rosemary Furtak. I'm the librarian in a research library that's behind the scenes at the Walker Art Center. When I arrived at the museum in 83, there had been very few artist books to speak of, I'd say. I think the librarian at the time was somewhat mystified by what these things were, and so maybe they weren't treated in quite the way that you'd want to treat a rare book. So they were taken and put in art storage, and then when I arrived, and we collected all those books, 15 or so, and I brought them back to the library, and that started the collecting. An artist book. I think it, the simplest way might be to say a book that's been designed by an artist, or a book that maybe is more, as Martha Wilson said, more self-conscious of itself as a book. And in the exhibition upstairs, the text messages exhibition, which shows a lot of the library collection, you see artist books which take a known text and an artist interprets a text. And some of these books are lavish in style, exotic papers and bindings. And so an artist book sometimes uh, is a bit confusing in that um, maybe there's no text or no title page or no table of contents. I mean, it's a book that refuses to behave like a normal book. It's something out of the ordinary. <laughs> 